this problem is that the machine is vibrating in a viscous medium. The machine has a mass of 1.95 kilograms, and in the first part of the problem, we're asked to find the damping coefficient when there is a harmonic excit exciting force of with an amplitude of 24.4 newtons, and that force results in a resonant amplitude of 1.27 centimeters with a period of 0.2 seconds. In the second part, we are asked to find the person increase in the amplitudes of force vibration when the damping is removed and when the harmonic force is vibrating at a frequency of four cycles per second. These problems are from the book Theory of Vibrations with Applications, Thompson et al., fifth edition. Okay, so let's start again by defining how do we find the amplitude of vibration, which is given by the following equation. X is equal to F naught over the square root of K minus M W square square plus C W square. If we divide by M, we're gonna go an expression like F naught over M divided by the square root of K over M minus W square square plus C W over M square. So this is another form of this equation. And um, rearranging this equation a little bit further, we can have x equal f naught over m divided by wn square minus w square square plus cw over m square. Notice that in this equation, we have changed k over m by wn squared because wn is the square root of k over m. Now, this equation provides the amplitude of a system vibrating with an applied force. In order to find the amplitude, we need to know the damping coefficient, the frequency, the natural frequency, and the mass, and the amplitude of the force. Now, let's, the first part of the problem asks us to find the damping coefficient when the amplitude of the force is 24.4 newtons and the system is vibrating at, at resonant with an amplitude of 1.27 centimeters in a period of 0.2 seconds. So now let's work with the first part. The first part, is when the system is at resonance. So when the system is at resonance, we know that the natural frequency W over WN equals one because the frequencies are equal. The W is equal to WN. So if we substitute this in this equation, we're gonna end up with an expression of the following form which is x equal f naught over m over the square root of, this goes to zero because it's, these values are the same. So we're gonna have cw over m square, which is gonna be equal to x at resonance is equal to f naught over m over these square roots, which will be CW over M. So let's notice now that M's, the masses cancel out in this division. And we can see that now, let me just arrange this a little bit further. We can cancel the mass and we're gonna end up with expression X at resonance. it will be equal to F naught over C 
w. Okay, so in order to find, we are given this amplitude in this problem. We are also given the amplitude of the force, which is F naught. So the only thing we need to solve for the damping coefficient is the frequency. So let's rearrange this equation a little bit more and we know that C, it will be equal to F naught over Wx. Now let's find W. How do we find W? So W is going to be, now find W here. Okay, so we are given the period, so W is given by two pi over the period. So it's two pi over 0.2 seconds, which is gonna be equal to 31.416 radians per second and that will be our value for w now substitute substituting this value in this equation we can get the damping coefficient so it will be 24.46 newton over 0 0.0127 by 31.416 is equal to 61.22 newtons seconds over kilograms. And that's the answer to the first part of the equation, of the problem. Now, um, let's work with part B. In part B, we are asked, which is uh, problem 3.2, we have given the frequency of the exciting force and that now we are gonna remove damping from the system and we are asked to find the ratio of amplitudes, the on damp versus damp amplitude. Okay, so now let's first work with finding or uh, solving for the frequency in terms of radians per second. So the frequency given in 3.2 is for CPS, which is cycles per second. And these, we know that one cycle per second is equal to two pi, so then four CPAs has to be equal to eight pi, obviously per second. So now the frequency is gonna be equal to eight pi over seconds, which is equal to 25.3. 13.2 radians per second. Okay, so now we have the frequency of the exciting force. So the problem is asking us for the ratio of X on damp versus X damp. The equation that Establish what is the what are these amplitudes are the equations that we previously discussed, which is this equation. So what we need to do now is substitute into these equations for the two on for the on damp and damp system and find this ratio. Okay, so let's first establish what's the equation for the on damp system. So let's see x on damp is equal to the previous equation that we established, square root of W and square minus W square to the square, plus CW over M, but C is equal to zero when there's no damping. And there, is no damping, so x on damp will be reduced to the following form. It's equal to f naught over m square root of w n square minus w square to the square, and that's it. So basically, this is the first expression for the on damp system, and we remove the damping. 
Now, the expression from the dam system is when this is not equal to zero. So it's the original equation that we have established before. So therefore, we are gonna we are gonna equate these two equations, not equate, put the ratio of x on dam over x dam to find what is the final equation that we need. So now let's put that over here. X on dam, we know is equal to F naught over M over the square root of W N square minus W square square. And X dam is equal to F naught over M over the square root of W N square minus W square to the square plus C W M square. Now solving this equation, simplifying this expression, we're gonna have something like this, X on dam over X dam will be equal to these terms cancel out. This is gonna go up here. So it's gonna be equal to the square root of WN square minus W square to the square plus CWM squared over the square root of WN square minus W square to the square. Now this ratio, to get this ratio, we just need to substitute the values that the problem gave us and that we calculated. Therefore, those values are the following. We have that WN is equal to 31.416 radians per second. Damping coefficients from previous uh, problem 3.1 is 61.22, and W is equal to 25.32 radians per second. So we're gonna substitute all of these values in this equation, in this expression of the ratio, and all of the values will complete this expression and we will have a numeric result of the form X on dam versus X dam will be equal to will be equal to 2.44, which is the result after all of these values are substituted in this equation.